As I was walking down Paradise Street to me way, hey, blow the man down, a pretty young damsel I chance for to meet. I give me some time to blow the man down. She was round in the counter and bluffing the bow. Way, hey, blow the man down. She took in all sail and cried, Way enough now. Give me some time to blow the man down. So I tailed her my flipper and took her in tow. Way, hey, blow the man down. And yard him to yard him, oh, way did we go. I give me some time to blow the man down. So, willkommen auf Boratelmo. Ich bin der Exilium. Nun ja, äh, mir ist zufällig äh, eingefallen, dass die Charaktere immer Sachen machen, wenn man eine Zeit lang stehen bleibt. Und da hat Bass auf einmal angefangen zu singen, zu chanten. Und es gab sogar ein Achievement dafür. Willkommen. Dankeschön. Willkommen zurück bei Gibius Chitulu Adventure. Ähm, wir haben letztes Mal den netten Mr. Zedok den Kaffee gebracht und jetzt müssen wir mal gucken wie wir weiterkommen wir haben den Alkohol jetzt also können wir zurück zu Finmans Haus und gucken ob wir da weiterkommen viel Spaß damit Better talk to him first. Mr. Finman, got you a little something to wash down the cookie with. Let me smell that. Oh, you did good, stranger. You was mighty kind. Mighty kind, I tell you. Ah, well, that hit the spot. And here's your cookie. You ain't tampered with this here fine piece of pastry now, has ya? Oh, God forbid, no. Down the hatch. <laughs> Good. Thanks, stranger. What? What you standing there all expectantly like that for? Oh, nothing. What? You expect me to kill over or something? <laughs> Boy, I got a stomach line with steel myself. I... What the heck? I don't know what you put in that cookie, but it wasn't working. I have no idea either. My roommate... W wait a minute. Care to explain what's going on here? Not until you explain what your business with Mr. Olmstein is. Der Typ hat erstens eine super geile Stimme und zweitens sieht er ziemlich brutal aus mit diesen rockalen Schuhen. Also werden wir mal lieber rein Tisch machen, denke ich mal. Okay, I'll come clean. I accidentally got involved in a mess that I can't make heads or tails of. That's why I'm here looking for him. I see. Well, there are two possible situations. Either your heart is full of darkness and deceit, in which case I suggest you turn around and run. Or, your intentions are pure and your heart innocent. In which case, we can talk. Naja, wir sind ja wieder der nette Kerl geworden, dadurch, dass wir Mr. Zodek geholfen haben. Von daher ist unser Herz nicht voller Dunkelheit. My heart is not full of darkness. Boy, it sounds weird saying that out loud. I've been sent here by the voodoo gentleman. I understand Mr. Olmstein might play an important role in this occult situation I stumbled into. Role? No, he plays no role. But what is yours? What part was assigned to you? Part? I'm just a librarian, sir. And this detective guy came looking for the, the Necronomicon. Kidtype. Exactly. And then they kidnapped him. Kidnapped? Who kidnapped him? Search me! Anyway, I've been walking around with this Necronomicon thing on me. 
You have it? The real one? Well, it's gotta be real. Made my cat start talking. Sup? Hello. Yes, that explains that. Well, that's us. What's Olmstein to you? You speak his name so lightly, I... Let's just say I watch him from a distance. Try and look out for danger, pointless as though that might be. Pointless? Why? I just might be a fly buzzing around a lion. Never mind. I don't normally get close to him, but if you do have the real Necronomicon... Here it is! Uh, an exception will be made. We'll walk up to his room, and we'll see from there. What else was I expecting? He's gone. Again. It might mean they're coming. We must stay vigilant. They? Who's they? Oh, too many possibilities in that regard. Oh my god, all this for nothing. It just keeps getting worse. You might as well at least tell me your name. Mine is Buzz Kerwin, and this is Kid A. You may call me Barnabas. I am... Uh, I am a protector of the other, a seeker of truth, and a hunter of evils. You must look nice on your business card. Okay, first of all, how do you know Don? I was the one who hired him to find the Holy Tome. It should never fall into the hands of madmen. Why hire Don? Is he an occult detective? No, but he is a damn good seeker. Well, maybe was. Oh man, don't say that. I'm sure he'll find a way to pull through. Madmen? What madmen? The Parish of the Starry Knowledge, the Esoteric Order of Dagon, or the... the Butcher. Starry Parish? Foul worshippers of a thing called the Haunter, and the shining trapezohedron it dwells in. Ugh, geometry. I've heard of the Esoteric Order. What's up with them? Have you now? So you also know of what they're raising here, in Fishmoth. The Half-Goofa? The Half-Goofa? Those idiots. Those complete and utter morons. They have no idea what that can bring about. Well, neither do I, but... Are you gonna do something about the Half-Goofa? They've cut off access to Kraken Bay completely. But I'll think of something. I must. The Butcher? Tell me about the Butcher. This is not the place nor the time for that, but what I will say is this. He must not have the Necronomicon. You must keep it away from him, at all cost. Sounds like someone I'd stay away from regardless. Do not underestimate his reach, and watch your step here in Fishmouth. Him and the Esoteric Order are likely in cahoots, and they're everywhere. Okay, so what does he want with the Necronomicon? To bring this world to its knees. Okay, that makes sense, sure. Uh, anyway... About Olmstein. What did you mean by the other? Olmstein? What makes him other? Who is he, anyway? Though you carry the book, you must understand my reluctance toward telling you these things. Still, see here. Though he walks among us, he is not like us. Aw, oh, jeez, with the cryptic talk again. Can you describe Olmstein to me? Ha, huh, that would be futile. He might appear different to you than he does to me. Or you might see him clearly and not be able to remember it an hour later. His nature is hard to grasp for all of us. B but the voodoo gentleman described him as just, you know, some friend of his. Was he trying to deceive me, or...? There's no time to go into this, but that should not surprise you. Olmstein appears in different ways to different people. It is his nature. Wonderful. If you're protecting Olmstein, how come you didn't knock Finman out earlier? 
That guy was definitely up to some gruesome stuff. Maybe Olmstein would have still been around. I was about to take him out. I had reserved all the remaining rooms just to make sure no one would intervene. Then you came along, and I had to be cautious. Maybe I still should be. You do walk around with spiked pastry on your person. Not spiked enough. But I'm kind of glad to be rid of it. Anyway, changing subject. So he does this a lot? Disappear at the worst possible moment? It is in his ever-changing nature, yes. But there is always, always a little breadcrumb left behind. Uh-huh. Might as well look for it, right? Yes, I will... I will trust you to do that. I'll keep an eye on the stairs in the meantime. Get to it. <sighs> it's what I do. Tja, sind, sind wir wohl der Privatdetektiv. A conspicuous piece of paper lying on Olmstein's bed. Crow's feathers strewn all over the place. Is this guy some kind of bird enthusiast? The word you're looking for is ornithophile. I thought you couldn't read. Oh. Yeah, uh, sure. They're interesting, but not pick up and carry around interesting. Vielleicht ist auch diese Vogelperson. Hey, look at that. It's a pretty neat painting of the harbor. Accurate, too. That big window overlooks the smelly intersection outside. Looks like the only way out, so I guess Olmstein jumped? But we didn't see or hear anything. I don't have a reason to leave this room in such a radical way. Just a mug and pitcher of coffee. Nothing to shine any kind of light on this Olmstein character. A particularly unattractive representative of the Fishmouth population. Completely empty. Either Olmstein travels light, or he's just wearing everything right now. She doesn't need it. Already seen the view. It stinks. Kitty couldn't care less. No, I should speak to him. I found this drawing. Can you make any sense of it? Olmstein's sign. Why would he leave it here again? What is it? What does it mean? I've seen it before, yes. I know not what it means, but it must have been left here for you. Me? But how could he know I was coming? And why me again? Why me? It is the role you play in this, and questioning it is a waste of time. What role? Finding the book was an accident was just bad luck? That is how the tome works. The roles are defined, but the book is pure chaos. Help me understand more about Olmstein. I need to find him. I need to change my cat back. That is your stake in all of this? Hey, that has a name, buddy. Sort of. How did you come to know of Bob Olmstein? That is a story for another time. <sighs> Why is his name Bob Olmstein? I mean, you call him other and all of that, but his name is so common? There must be a reason for that, but does it really matter? Not to me. What's Olmstein's game? Is he good? Is he evil? These are questions that I cannot outright answer with a yes or no. All I have is my belief and some suppositions, and the former is much more powerful than the latter. If they do exist, maybe the answers are not meant for the likes of us. What we must do is play our roles. What belief? I believe I must try and stay by his side, and right now I am failing at that. What was Olmstein up to here in Fishmouth? 
perhaps checking on some seeds he had planted. Aw oh, man, I know you're just speaking figuratively and it's just that cryptic stuff again that just drives me mad. No offense, but why can't you just talk like normal people? I'm not normal people. Of course you're not. But is there anything helpful you can tell me about Olmstein? <sighs> I can tell you some things, I guess. He might seem ever-changing, yes, but... Balance and rules, these too are in his nature. Self-imposed balance and rules. Uh, I'm sure you can be more specific than that. What rules? Do you ever watch the moon buzz koan? Yeah, occasionally. There is something about it, its phases. They seem to correlate to important events and to how he affects this world. But in which way exactly? You'll need to find out on your own. The Necronomicon. You seem to know more about it than I do. What is it? Ah, uh, many things. We might call it holy, and we might be mistaken. Holy, as in not of this world. Uh, debatable, but do go on. It changes things. Sherlock Holmes over here. It chooses roles. It alters the very nature of things. But it does it when it wants, or when the stars are right. And if it makes its way into the wrong hands, it ends existence itself. Well, that's encouraging. But mine are not the wrong hands, right? Right? They're not the most competent. That much is clear. No, they are not, I think. Why does it keep changing? The Necronomicon is chaos in written, volatile form. What do its pages hold? What language is it written in? And what does it all mean? I've never read it, nor do I want to. All I have to go on are rumors and whispers but both hold more and more power in this world. As for the meaning of the words, some of them are most probably incantations or instructions of some kind. Instructions? Yes, and stories. Stories? What stories? It does not matter now. You must focus on your next move. Would it be safer in your hands? You do seem to know a lot more about it. No, no. Maybe I fear it more than you do, but that is not why I refuse it. It is not for me to bear it. Yeah, I guess I need it to turn Kitty back. Yes, yes, you, uh, you need to do that. You said the book is pure chaos, but Olmstein is about rules and balance? How does that work? You make a good point. For a while now, I've been suspecting there must exist a counterpoint to the chaotic tome. If there is such a thing, it should be sought out before it's too late. Great, but I have no leads, no nothing. Can you help out in any way? I am considering it. Let me think about it. <gasps> what was that? I think they're coming. The stairs. Damn it! Quick, out the window! Are you serious? It's really up high! Have faith. You can make it. I'll hold them back. But I don't know what to do or where to go or... There's no time. Go! Go! Find peace! Find peace! Hey there, Buzz! Fancy running into you! Mr. Katype! Please, uh, call me Don. Welcoming town, Fisherman. Ain't it? Yeah, lovely. Boy, am I glad to see you. You okay, Don? Well, I have no shoes and I don't know where we're running, but aside from that, I'm all right. You uh, headed my way. Got a thing or two to uh, catch up on. Let's talk about it in Darkham. Taxi! All right, we uh, should be safe in here. I uh, hope. Better keep the lights down. You don't happen to have any cat food lying around, do you? Huh. I keep forgetting it can speak. It's rude. 
Look, I let you two rest all the drive here from Fishmouth, but now it's time for us to buck up, get our coconuts situated, and work out where we're at. Right. So, what happened to you? I cracked lid in the underbunk of some lunatic cult. These guys were also after the Necronomicon, but apparently you gave them the slip. Not the sharpest crayons in the box. The Starry Knowledge Cult. Yeah, how'd you know? Anyway, they kneel and keel to some kind of rock what came from the stars. It's supposed to croak you or give you some kind of vision beyond time if you lay your mitts on it. So did you? Now I glow in the dark. The Haunter's Mark, they call it. Ain't something I'd believe if I read it in the pulps, but now it's on me, I can't deny it. Things have definitely gone 15 shades of bizarro. And there's a talking cat. Again, I'm right here. Rude. Whoa. Did you try using your, uh, power? I didn't get the chance. I snuck out and crept around those smelly streets until I saw you legging it. That's about it. What you got? Well, I read from the book and now Kitty talks. There's that. Then I visited a voodoo dude who told me to look for this Bob Olmstein guy in Fishmouth. Long story short, Olmstein had already left, but I did meet your employer. A fella by the name of Barnabas. Pretty big guy, white dreadlocks and beard, maybe in his 50s? Huh, I'll have to look him up in my files. Yeah, well, Barnabas is convinced Olmstein is of almost, um, divine nature? And there's also another cult called the Esoteric Order of Dagon, and they're about to have their creepy festival in Fishmouth soon. Oh, and there's a guy called the Butcher. <sighs> Just saying it all out loud makes my head spin. I know about those esoteric weirdos. Not the first time they completely shut off Fishmouth to do God knows what. Butcher, those starry kooks mentioned them. All Barnabas told me was to keep the Necronomicon away from the Butcher at all cost. And you know what's weird? Barnabas hired you to find the book, but he wouldn't take it when I offered it. Strange. Well, he did pay up front, so uh, he's all right as far as I'm concerned. So, what do we do now? You, uh, wanna help? Kid, strange and mysterious are why I work this beat. Now that I've lost my shoes and my hand is all magic-like, this old bloodhound ain't going back to the kennel until he's got some answers. Oh, boy, am I glad to hear that. All right, well... There's two things. One, apparently there must be some item that counterbalances the Necronomicon's chaos, so we should probably look for that. And two, Barnabas told me to find peace. I kind of want to research that online. You do have internet, right? Uh, yeah, there should be some in that laptop thing. Oh, brother. You look into that. I want to see what this Haunter's Mark is all about. So, ganz schön actionreich noch zum Ende hin. That's my file cabinet. Call me old fashioned. Go ahead. I'll take a look, but a bit later. Who even still uses file cabinets, Joe? Just uh, don't drop it on my toes again, Vince. Whoa, you sounded eerie. And you were talking in a couple of different voices. Never been much of a thespian, so I guess the Haunter's Mark does work. I think you were channeling the movers. How long ago was that? I don't know. Years. I had a feeling I shouldn't tip the short annoying one. Well, you can now legit read the past. Future would have probably been more helpful, but I'm not complaining. All right, give me a minute to look up this Barnabas fella. Oh, okay, jetzt haben wir auch noch äh, besondere Fähigkeiten. Das wird ja immer besser. Wir gucken mal eben in das Notizbuch. Ich habe Bass getroffen, der die Straße heruntergerannt ist, als ich die Mauer des Tempels des Sternwissens eingerissen habe. Es hat sich herausgestellt, dass wir in Fischmoll waren. Das erklärt den Gestank. Wir haben es in einem Stück ins Büro geschafft. Nun in drei Stücken. Ich, Bass und eine sprechende Katze. Ja, die Katze spricht. Und es ist nicht die einzige übernatürliche Entwicklung, denn die Hand, mit der ich den leuchtenden Trapezoida angefasst habe, leuchtet. Gut. Und dann versuchen wir mal hier ein bisschen was rauszufinden. That's Cornelia. I should give her a sprinkle. She is fine where she's at. 
hear that, Joey? This guy's uh, talking to his plant. He, he named it and everything. Man's probably lonely, Vince. Leave it at that. <sighs> Maybe I'm a little lonely. Oh well. A big, bad, weird world awaits out there. Is this a place, Joey? Sure is. How are we gonna get this desk up the stairs? I like, couldn't you got a lighter one? Shut up and do your job, Vince. Ist schon ein bisschen unheimlich. The number one cause of horizontally intermittent tan. Occupational hazard. Hey Joey, check it out. Venetian blinds. Guy thinks he's Sam Spade or something. Let's uh, just get that desk up here, Vince. <laughs> ich hab ne lustige Idee. That there is Kitty. I don't think the hunter's mark works on her. Schade. Hey, Kitty. Is it important? No. Let me know when it is. <laughs> okay, Kitty. Just my desk. Nothing special. Ugh, man, this thing must weigh a ton. This guy better tip well. Wouldn't count on it, Vince. He ain't for money, I can tell you that. That's my uh, laptop. I barely ever use the thing. You think this guy goes incognito? You think his browsing history is open up? You want to look at it? Want to take a peek? The way that guy looks and dresses, I doubt he even knows how to turn the stupid thing on. Those belong to the guy what rented here before me. Never cared enough to take them down. Can you believe this guy, Joey? Didn't even bother taking those old diplomas down. That says something about a man, Vince. Don't ask me what, though. It's Buzz. I guess we're sort of partners now. Never really needed a partner, but I can use the company. The uh, Haunter's Mark doesn't work on him. Okay, funktioniert also nur bei toten Gegenständen. I want to look up Barnabas first. That's my safe. Right now it's guarding a whole lot of nothing. Nothing in there. Ugh! Drag this all the way up here and I bet it's empty, Joy. I bet it. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm with you on that, James. Man, those were some... Judgmental movers. Let's see here. Oh, we have sogar eine Fallakte vom Barnabas. Oh, da kann man die ganzen Akten mal durchgucken. Das sparen wir aber uns fürs nächste Mal. Äh, ich danke fürs Zugucken, wie immer. Hey, Bozinski, I think I got something on that fine peace thing. I don't believe Barnabas was trying to guide you to a life of mindfulness and meditation. He's got a daughter called Peace. Peace, Pusara. Oh, of course, that makes sense. So. Ich hätte nicht gedacht, dass er direkt losrennt und nochmal dazwischen quatscht. Wie gesagt, danke fürs Angucken der Folge. Ich hoffe, ihr habt immer noch Spaß äh, an dem kleinen Adventure hier. Ich bin der Exilium. Ich wünsche euch noch einen guten Tag und bis zum nächsten Mal. Haut rein!